We have the results of the nationwide deportation raids President Trump had threatened for weeks. More than 2,000 migrants were targeted, but only 35 have been arrested, including 18 who had final deportation orders and 17 others who were swept up in the raids. Adriana Diaz explains why the number of arrests is far lower than anticipated. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has arrested less than 2% of the 2,100 targeted in its sweep that began earlier this month. It's called Operation Border Resolve, and it's directed at families with deportation orders. A key reason, according to ICE officials, is that activists had time to plan for the highly publicized crackdown, which was announced ahead of time by President Trump. Activists informed and documented immigrants of their rights and stepped in to intervene. On Monday in Nashville, when local residents saw their neighbor being targeted by ICE, they formed a human chain around his van, allowing him and his son to run into their home. Others readied themselves like this man, who barricaded himself in his own home. According to ICE Acting Director Matthew Albans, some agents were even under surveillance, which also impeded arrests. Despite only 35 people taken into custody so far, President Trump praised the effort last week. The ICE raids were very successful. Deportations during President Trump's first two years in office are down roughly 40 percent compared to President Obama's first two years. In Chicago, activist Cecilia Garcia handed out flyers. I think it would have been more if we had not raised the awareness to the community. ICE has made 899 arrests in the last two months. And as for Operation Border Resolve, ICE's acting director says he does not believe any families have been separated during arrests. That operation is ongoing. Adriana Diaz, Chicago.